name is Arlene Munoz, and for the biology project, my job was to do the first three objectives of the project. So my first objective was to draw and label a diagram of the heart and label the four chambers of the heart, the associated blood vessels, and the root, the root through the the root of blood through the heart. Okay. So for the this objective, I drew out a heart on a blank sheet of paper, as as clear as possible. And as you can see in the heart, this is the right, the the right side of the heart, and this is the left side. This is the right lung, and this is the left lung. Okay. So I labeled all the things that had to be mentioned. So we're going to start up here with the um, superior vena cava, right here when I'm pointing at. Um, in the bottom, or right here, it will be the pul pulmonary valve. And then over here, in this side, will be the right atrium. In the bottom, over here, it is a tri tricuspid valve. And then in the bottom, right here, is the right ventricle. Right here is the right ventricle. And then as we move to the left side of the heart... The, here is the left ventricle, and then right here is the mitral valve, and then right here will be the coronary artery. Right here, it will be the aortic valve, and then here, this this blue vein is the pulmonary artery, and then right here is the left atrium. This, um, this um, big vein, it's the aorta, and is the thickest wall of the heart. So as you can see, all these are labeled, and then here are the 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 arrows clearly pointing to it. And then over here we have some arrows. Um, it starts from right here. That this is how the blood goes through the heart, and then from this side, it's uh, the body. the The body comes and it comes into the to the heart and then it releases out again so it's basically like um, using it all over all over again around and running around and then here um, these two bottoms are the it, it pumps blood to the trunk and the legs and then right here it's the head and arms that uh, it uh, pumps blood to and then um, this is all for the first um, objective I hope it is clear for you to see everything labeled. Okay, and then for my second objective, it was to um, state the how the cor coronary arteries work. So for the for this objective, I had to explain what are the coronary arteries and how they work. So the coronary arteries, they are they supply blood to the heart muscle and then like all other tissues in the body the heart muscle needs oxygen rich blood to function and oxygen depleted blood must be carried away so basically the cor coronary arteries they give you oxygen and they supply blood to your body that is the most important thing the most important job for the coronary arteries and then my last my last objective was to um, explain how the um, to explain the action of the heart in terms of collecting blood, pumping blood, and closing of valves. So at the beginning, we are going. Um, this is a hand gest gesture that we are going to do. Um, this is an easy way to explain how the heart pumps blood in and out. So um, I don't have another person to do it, but. There has to be two V-shaped hands like this, and then one will be the left side and one will be the right side. So I'm just going to do one example. V, you could think of it as the ventricle, which the ventricle means that blood comes into the heart like this, and then it, it closes like that into the A-shaped, and this is the atrium and then blood comes out. So basically what you need to remember is comes in, the ventricle and the atrium comes out. And then this it does this all the time to pump blood and collect collect blood to the heart to go into the body so you can receive oxygen. So this is basically everything you need to know for the three objectives. I hope it is clear for you to see now. 
what you need to know and I hope you understand. For my Thank part, I had to do the next three objectives and for this part, I had to do the outline and the control the heartbeat of the myotic um, muscle, the contraction, the peacemaker, the nerve, the medulla of the brain, and the adrenaline. So I had to outline and explain it. And for the first one, for the myotic muscle, it's a contraction there initially at the end of the peacemaker, which keeps the, the cardiac of the muscles working. So for this, it's in order to keep the muscles ordinated and keep it in a sequence. For the next one, for the peacemaker, or in other words, an SAN, it's a special region of the muscle, which is in this side of the body. And it's in the cells right atrium that is basically the pacemaker of the heart, which will keep the blood pumping in case that you um, have like um, a um, problem with it. And it could um, you could have a pacemaker, which is right here. Um, the also another the next one I had was the nerves, which this is just a message that. Um, which is contains to the heartbeat, either to slow it up or speed it up. Um, the other objective I had was the metal of the brain, which is basically just the lowest part of your brain that continues with the spinal of the cord. And the last one I had was the adrenaline. And um, basically this is a sense of signal of the pacemaker to increase the heartbeat. Um, the other objective I had to do was the um I had explained the relationship between the structure, the function of the arteries, the color um calories and the veins. So basically um the arteries are blood vessels that um carry blood from away from the heart and also divided it forms the areolas. Um the cater cater Alright, is the smallest vessel, and there are the smallest red blood cell that must fill up in order to um, keep the blood passing and flowing on the same direction. And the veins uh, are the carry the blood towards the heart, and from the body tissue, which contains very contains many veins or valves to um, prevent the blood flowing backwards. Um, the last objective I had was, um, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the last objective I also had was to state the blood, which is composed either by, um, plasmas, leucocytes, phagocytes, lymphocytes, and, the uh, um, pellets, and, um, and this, the plasma is a pale yellow liquid, and it makes up to 50-60% of the blood and um, aerocytes are the red blood cells and those carry the um, oxygen the lysocytes are the white blood cells and those fight the diseases um, lymphocytes collect the tissue of fluid that um, leads to the caterpillars and the last one of the pellets are the cell fragments to need the blood um, holding to the heart um, I had this three um, I hope you understand. Yes. Oh, Many things are transported by the blood. Nutrients, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones, antibodies, urea, and heat. There are three processes, ventilation, gas exchange, and cell respiration. In the lungs, first, air is, you breathe in air and O2 diffuses into the alveolus. And then it goes into gas exchange where O2 diffuses into the lung capillaries and O2 diffuses out of the body capillaries. And then in cell respiration it moves and O2 is a reactant for aerobic cell respiration. And from there it transfers into CO2 is a product of aerobic cell respiration. And then the capillaries, it moves, it moves in into being CO2 diffuses into body capillary and CO2 diffuses out of lung capillaries. And there, from there, it moves into the lungs again and CO2 diffuses out of the alveolus 
and being and you breathe it out. The ventilation system is important for <laughs> for many reasons, such as the main the main function of the ventilation system is taking oxygen throughout the body and taking out carbon dioxide. The point of breathing is so gas exchange can occur between blood and the air, so oxygen can get into the tissues. Another function of breathing is to release our gas waste product, carbon dioxide. All gas exchange occurs in the alveoli of the lungs. The blue is oxygen and the red is deoxygen. Blood. This is ventilation system. Yeah, bronchial, and then alveoli, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery, and the blood flow. There's a ventilation system in humans, and there's three main functions, the intercostal muscles, the diaphragm, and the abdominal muscles, which all help out the blood flow. And the main one is a diaphragm. The end.